I'm here at our Winding Oaks project for part five of our pre-sheet rock documentation. I've completed the downstairs. I'm now making my way up the front stairs. And the first thing I notice is a step light to my left. As I make it up to the landing, I'll also see a step light to my right. And then finally another one even farther to the right, as you can see right there. But I'm going to stop here at the landing and go into the study. And looking to my right in the study is a two-gang switch on the wall as well as a TV and an electrical outlet and a return air grill down low on the wall in the study. The wall between the study and the AV room has a plug on it. There's a plug under the window. And then there's a switch next to the window, to the left of the window. And then there's a little alcove here that's going to have a built-in desk and it's got a plug. That plug may need to be raised up. I'll have to check on that. And then there's a wire hanging there which is supposed to be for um, under cabinet lighting because it's going to have an upper cabinet but that's got to get changed to low voltage and that's probably what that switch is for right there then to the left of that little alcove is a plug on the studs next to the window finally back around to the final wall is another plug and at the entry to the left of the entry is a plug and then looking back towards the closet for the study is a switch on the wall and as I walk into that closet there is a speak I mean a uh, ceiling outlet and then some kind of a speaker wire, low voltage wire, coiled up in the ceiling here. I don't know what that's for, but it's probably something on the plans for that. Turning back around to the study entrance and looking up, there's a smoke detector outlet, a six inch recess can on either end, a ceiling fan outlet in the middle, and then a six inch recess can above each of the two windows. Moving out of the study and heading back up the stairs, I already documented the step lights as we go up the stairs. When I get to the top of the stairs, there's a four gang outlet at the top. I walk into the game room area and I see a plug on the wall that backs up to the game room closet, a six inch recess can and a supply outlet above that. Here's where our doors and our Juliet balcony area will go. There's a plug to the left of that. Moving down that same wall is a three gang outlet with a speaker wire coiled up above it. Moving past the entrance to the bedroom, there's another plug on the wall. The other end of that wall has a plug on it. Moving past the window, you'll see the pipes, the refrigeration pipes for the two air conditioning units coming down the wall. And then a plug to the left of that. And then moving over to the last window on that same wall, there's a plug directly below the window. And there's the window in the corner on the next wall and a TV and a plug on that wall. <clears throat> As I move around the corner past the stairs to the storage area is another plug. I'll catch the storage area while I'm here walking up the stairs to the storage area. There is a switch on the right which goes to this light outlet. And then the rest of this is just attic storage as you can see and there's another light outlet at the other end right there. Back into the game room as I walk back towards the entrance to the game room, I have a plug on the wall and a one gang switch on the wall that backs up to the stairwell. As I look up towards the ceiling from the top of the stairs, I see a six inch can here with a smoke detector outlet. Just past the smoke detectors, an alarm outlet, another six inch recess can, and a large return air with a six inch recess can next to it, and a doorbell outlet. Moving back towards the other part of the game room is a supply register and a six inch recess can. Walking down towards the outside walls, another six inch recess can, my smoke detector outlet, and then in the big area of the game room, I've got a total of four six inch recess cans. One, two, three over there, four here, another large return grill, two supply grills, just flanking inside each of the outside windows as you can see. In the center is the ceiling fan outlet and then I've got some speaker wiring here. This one between the two recess cans along the same joist and on this side of the room there's this one in between the two recess cans along the same joist. Turning back around towards the bedroom that's right off the game room. As I enter the bedroom and look to my left there's a two gang switch outlet. There's a plug outlet on the next stud over. Moving down that same wall is another plug outlet. 
Moving around past the windows on the outside wall is a plug outlet close to center. Over towards the bathroom is a plug outlet on the stud next to the tub. Moving over towards the wall behind the closet is another plug. And finally, the last wall that backs up to the family room has a plug and a TV outlet. As I go back to the entrance to this bedroom looking up, I see a return air grill and a 6-inch recess can. I see another 6-inch recess can here. This is a big bedroom. I see a ceiling fan outlet in the middle, 6 inch recess can on this end, supply grill here, 6 inch recess can light here, and smoke detector outlet here. Now let's catch the bathroom and closet. As I walk into the bathroom, I've got a four gang outlet to my right. As I walk forward towards the vanity, I've got a plug outlet to my right, two vanity lights above, probably for sconces. There's my toilet plumbing. Here's my tub with my associated tub plumbing, tub valve, tub filler, and the shower outlet above that. Going back towards the entrance to the bathroom and looking up, I have a return, uh, I'm sorry, a supply grill, six inch recess can, and an exhaust fan. Looking into the closet, as I move into the closet, I don't have a switch. So apparently one of these switches outside is for the closet. When I look up in the closet, I have an outlet for a uh, fluorescent fixture. I also have a door here that goes into the attic. And in the attic, I've got a switch box for the attic, an outlet for the attic light. And then on the ground in the attic or down low in the attic, I've got a bunch of wiring here for low voltage LED lights. It all come through in the attic. Of course, that will not get covered up by sheetrock, so we'll be able to get to that easily. And then I've got a switch here, or an outlet here, for the water heater. My water heater is going to be mounted here above this platform. So I've got my electrical. I'm sorry, this is not the water heater. This is the steam generator. So I've got my electrical, my communications wiring, and my outlet for the steam generator and the plumbing over there that goes with it. And that is the end of part five of our pre-sheetrock documentation.